What's up YouTube, Denzi here, After Image 121 finally coming at you guys with a new video. Sorry I haven't really made anything in a while, I had some real life things going, and uh, stopped playing the game for a while, but I'm back, and I'm going to show you guys my updated spellbook profile. So, I've got my uh, three High Priestess of Prophecy, it's the Dex Boss Monster, very, very good card, it's basically, you know, Dark Arm Dragon for spellbooks. Uh, Got three, Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. This is your Stratos. Searches out any other spellbook card and makes a lot of plays start happening. Got two, Justice of Prophecy. I like this card a lot. It's uh, very good for setting up Priestess plays and can't really get Veilard because it banishes itself during the end phase. So it's, uh, it's a lot better than Temperance in my opinion. I still play one Temperance, though, because sometimes it's nice to get the Priestess straight to the field. Um, just baits out a lot of back row, usually. Got two Break of the Magical Warrior. Take care of the back cards. Very good with uh, Spellbook of Wisdom. Combo as well. And it's a quick answer to Thunder King, which otherwise gives the deck a problem. Got two Trigodia. Just because this deck's always going to have it decently large hand, especially if you can keep tower on the field for a while. So Trigodi is one of the defensive cards this deck plays, along with Effect Failer. This card can also be added straight to your hand with Spellbook Star Hall, and it sets up a bunch of synchro plays. So Valor's nice. And then play one copycat, just something to get off tower if they blow it up right away, and a uh, quick answer to a lot of threats. Under the spells, got three Spellbook of Secrets, searches out any other Spellbook card, including Magician, so it starts a lot of things. Gotta play three of those. I play three Spellbook of Power because I play Breaker and Copycat, and this lets them run over things that I would otherwise not be able to get over. So, a uh, very good card. Got two Spellbook of the Master. Play two of them because uh, it lets you recycle any other card in the deck with Eternity, lets you double search with Secrets, lets you uh, give a monster 2,000 attack with power. It's a very good card overall. Gives the deck a lot more options than you would have otherwise. Got two Spellbook of Wisdom. Uh, combo as well with Breaker. And also, you know, gets your Priestess through, etc. Just overall a very good defensive card. Got two Spellbook of Life. I was trying one for a while, but two seems to work out a little better. Make sure you can keep recycling that Priestess. Let's you open up a lot of Synchro plays because it changes Valor's level. Very good overall card. Got the Grand Spellbook Tower. You only need to play one because you can recycle cards very easily in this deck. Got one Spellbook Star Hall. It's basically a heavy storm deterrent, and it gives your monsters a lot of extra attack if you can keep it on the field for a while. Got one Spellbook of Fate. You can use this to banish threats or to book your magician, reuse its effect. Spellbook of Eternity. Recycles any of your banished spellbooks. This is how you get tower back. I play one Pot of Duality. Well, all the searching and uh, replenishing that this deck does, it's consistent enough where you don't need two, but I play one because sometimes you need to uh, dig for that last piece or that last spell book. Get your plays going. Uh, standard Monster Reborn, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, don't really need to be explained. And then I play book just as an extra land of defense and a means of reusing my Magician's effect. And then for the traps, I just play three Threatening Roar. Because, you know, it's very important that you protect your life points when you make a justice play. Because you're not going to have any monsters left on the field. And sometimes it's necessary to protect your magician because uh, you want to make an exceed play next turn or something like that. And hmm, it's just very good because it's chainable too. Moving on to the extra deck. I've got one Gachi Gachi. Um... 
Underrated card. Very good, in my opinion. 2900 Priestess is nothing to laugh at. One Digusto Phoenix, just for game swings and taking care of certain setups. Got Wind of Zen Mains, just to have a rank 3 option, and Maystroke Stroke for a rank 4 option. Got Big Eye, take a lot of different threats and uh, turn games around, especially if you have life in your hand. You can detach a Priestess, take their guy, bring back the Priestess. Hierophant, because sometimes you need to sweep out their back row or, you know, have that extra attack stat. Armory Arm, because, you know, like I said before, a lot of different levels are possible to make in this deck. Got Cataster and Hyper Librarian for the level 5s. Librarian's a Spellcaster. Tempest Magician, because between this card and Star Hall, you can actually put a lot of damage on the board unexpectedly. Got one Black Rose Dragon just for the reset. Got Arknight Magician, pop two cards, it's pretty good. Stardust Dragon, Scrap Dragon, get rid of a lot of things. And then Crimson Blader is a card that I I think is really good. It is very good against Mermails because it stops pretty much all of their plays. And then uh, also good versus Fire Kings and Dark Worlds in that it stops them from being able to summon their guys. So that's it for the extra. Moving on to the side. We've got two Soul Drain for Mermails, Dark Worlds, things like that. Two Royal Decree. Just any deck that runs heavy back row. Make sure you get your plays through. Two Rivalry of Warlords, because all the monsters in this deck are Spellcaster. This gives a lot of other decks problems. Double Mind Crush. You can Mind Crush Megalo, Mind Crush Enemy Priestesses. Really good in the mirror match, and good overall card. A lot of decks search right now. Two-dimensional Fisher, because the only thing you need in your grave are the spell cards. One Injection Fairy Lily, just to run over different threats and deal with high attack stat monsters. Double Maxi. This is awesome when you draw into Trag. And then two Lava Golem. This deals with things like Lagia and Dolka, deals with Fire Kings without triggering their effects. And it's very good against Samurais because of how easily they make Naturia Beast. And Naturia Beast and Sheehan both give this deck problems, so Lava Golem takes care of those. Alright, that's what I've got for my spellbook. If you want to see more videos, give me the thumbs up. Might have a Evil Swarm deck profile coming at you guys in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. And until next time, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.